Hi everybody, this is Trent from the Leonardo Museum and we're doing Leo at Home today. This week we have been learning all about coding. Uh, this morning we got to see a video with Miss Rachel learning about the program called Scratch. Um, today we wanted to extend that into some really creative things. So we are going to be looking at how coding is essentially this idea that um, uses certain symbols that can give instruction to another person or perhaps to another machine out there as well. So um, the whole purpose of that is to do a certain task. Today, we are actually going to be using colors by numbers, and this can help us know more about how this process works. So, um, you might have seen our video earlier um, in the week about pixel art, the idea of having different places with numbers that correspond to a certain color. So today, we are going to need a few different things in order to make this work. So today, you can use coloring pages, you can use um, ones out of your coloring book, or this one is one that I made and we posted on our website, on our Facebook page on Friday. So go ahead and grab that, print it off, whatever you want. It can be done with anything that you want to color, okay? So we got our coloring book page and then we need a pencil. We need a pencil that's gonna have an eraser or if you have an extra eraser handy, that will always be good. Then you're gonna need some colored pencils. So I have some little fancy ones here that we're gonna be using today. And then you're gonna need a piece of paper to be able to write down some of our codes today. So here's all of our materials. This is all we're gonna need. The last thing you're gonna need is a person. That's right, you can use someone from your family who might be at home with you. Um, you can always do this where you would take a picture and then send it off to a friend over the internet and be able to connect with them that way. Okay, so let's dive right in here. So we have our coloring book page and we have all of our materials laid out for us. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna be using our pencil to draw different symbols for our different colors. But before we do that, we need to decide what colors we're gonna wanna use. We might call that in art terms as having a palette of colors. So I've chosen really simple, just simple five colors for us to use, okay? So we got green, blue, red, yellow, and orange, okay? Now what I've done here is I've numbered one for blue, two for green, three yellow, four orange, and five for red. So that is gonna be my little code. So what we can do here is set this aside so that way we know what our code is. Okay, let's set that right there. Now I know that I'm gonna take my pencil and I want my grass right here to be the color green. So I look, green has a number two, so I write a small, very light number two with my pencil. Now, I know that I want my tree to be green. So I'm gonna take two again and put it up there where the tree is. Anything else that you want to be green, maybe you want this middle one to be green, right? This little background section, you would just write a number two wherever you want it to be green. Maybe I'll have this person's body be green, okay? Um, I know I want my sky to be blue. So we'll do one in a few different places. Wherever it's gonna make it really clear for our artist friend that we'll be giving this to, this will make it so much easier for them to go off and then make that coloring book page so much easier. So you do that for the entire thing. And then I went ahead and prepared one just like you see here. So let's say that I have given this one to my mom or my dad or maybe a friend. So now I have all the numbers filled in. Now I give them my code, boom, and now it's time to start coloring. So I know as I look here too, all my twos I find. It's sort of like a, a hide and go seek. Gotta find all the right numbers with the right colors. I'm gonna start to color those in. Just like we would do a paint by number or a color by number, but you're making it at home yourself. And how we connect this back into coding is that the computer does certain actions. It does certain things that we need it to, um, given the different codes that we have. So in the same way, you are planning out your picture and you're giving the code to a friend and now it's their turn to go through and finish that code the right way. So there's lots of different things that you can do with this, right? You can actually have a lot of fun if you took your symbols and you just did random numbers all over your coloring book page. You wouldn't even know what it would look like until you started to fill in the colors. Then if you don't have anyone to send it to, you could always just do that one yourself, right? Now, what I would love to see happen is if any of you might have a scanner 
or you could have your parents help you with their phone. Take a picture of it and upload that onto our Facebook page in the comments and we can share our coloring book coding with each other. How does that sound? Well, I gave you guys a challenge to try that out today to see what you think about that. There's lots of ways to stay engaged and to learn about these concepts around coding. And there's other things that we do during the week. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do a live um, how-to drawing so that we can still be creative and connect with our minds and with each other. Also, I mentioned before that this coloring book page was posted on our Leonardo um, Facebook page last week. Well, every single Friday, we're gonna have new pages for you to be able to color. So join us again and thank you so much for coming here. My name is Trent with Leonardo at Home.